guys welcome back to my youtube channel once again my name is ronald if you're new here first things first like share subscribe so you never miss a bite well today we're doing part two of the gardening in our community as you can see that clip right there people had fun in the previous video and a whole lot more people just came together i mean look at that people are enjoying themselves they're having fun as a community basically getting back together so we're going to get into it right now so i suggest you watch to the end because there's more surprises for you and by the way we will be doing also part three of this video so we're here to jump into it i hope you're excited because i am i moved here about a year ago from down south and i really love this community because everybody's very welcoming there's so much nature right at our footsteps i find it's helping with our mental health just by having the option to step outside and be surrounded by trees and flowers and so on we have an amazing little library and they even gave us like uh, seeds we have seeds for some of our flowers in the garden here and some of our plants that were donated by the library I'm just really happy to be neighbors with these people. So we have Peter and Sharon who've largely hired, piloted this project, are just incredibly welcoming and kind people and they love kids and I feel like my little family and my kids are so welcome here and a part of things. So I'm just really happy to feel somewhere that we fit in. Today we finally get to plant our plants. We've been working hard at creating the garden and we're really excited to get the plants in the ground. And so we have some plants that are being donated and plants that have been started by different people. And we have herbs and beans and peppers and tomatoes. We have a cucumber, we have marigold, lettuce. And so soon we're gonna get gardening. I was actually so surprised myself to find this because where I come from we call this Mandazi and she said they call this Benek. Hmm, interesting but same idea because uh, we do ours with basically again flour and some kind of raising agent and you basically do the same thing almost. Almost the same thing and you can do it instead of in oil you can actually cook it over a fire. Over fire? Never seen that. Yeah. You all learn something new every day. <laughs> so as you can see, we've been working away at the garden. Now we have railings here with chicken wire to keep out um, groundhogs, rabbits, small dogs. It's not going to keep out squirrels and, and nothing to keep out squirrels. We also have a gate here. And right here we have a potato bin um, that Paul built, and uh, so we're going to be planting potatoes in that. Yeah. So, as you know, the soil, the triple mix was donated by Dave Whitten, and then we bought some a bit more black earth, a bit of manure, and uh, we topped it up. So we have four, uh, five mounds in here where the three sisters are going to get planted, and two mounds where the zucchinis are going to get planted. And we've been trying to level it out because it's on a hill, um, so that end is deeper, so we'll be putting the root vegetables at the deep. In addition to this, Ronald was having a garage sale, and we got these lovely flower pots from his garage sale, and we put them on here, and we're going to have flowers in here that are going to uh, attract pollinators and brighten it up. Also, we have these beautiful flowers that Kyle Cooper from Foodland and um, Victoria Harbor donated. All these things will attract pollinators and feed the bees and uh, bring them to our garden. Don't touch Uh, my name is Raymond Paul, and we're here as part of the community. We've been connected with Native culture, Native spirituality, my heart, my soul, that's where, that's where I get my, my guidance and that. And we met Peter and Sharon, and my wife loves getting involved in uh, community events, and they come up with this conception to put a beautiful garden in here. And it's honoring Mother Earth. We're hoping the community joins in and totally enjoys every part of this. And we'll watch the abundance of Mother Earth uh, doing what she does best. 
Oh, my eyes closed. We're here for the garden, the opening of the garden. We're here with Peter and Sharon. And, uh, we're here for drumming. But they've done a wonderful job here with, uh, as I can see, with uh, all the work they put into it for the community. Well, um, we, uh, my husband and I moved to this community in 2013. We, uh, we built a house and we used to only come on weekends. And then we retired permanently up here and we became involved with the Tall Pines Group, uh, which is a volunteer organization that seeks to improve the community. And uh, lots of people have volunteered their time. We've created gardens down at the Pine Street Beach. We work on eradicating invasive species like uh, Phragmites and now the community garden. So we try to work together to help our community and we love this community and we have a good time doing it. So check out tallpines.ca. Okay, when we smudge for our drums, 
Sometimes there's eight of us or up to 20 of us. We pass around the bowl with the sage in there and smudge our drums, smudge our drumsticks, smudge our glasses and everything we carry with us and then smudge ourselves and then rotate and go on to the next person so that as a drum group there'll be all of us that are all suddenly feeling equal, purified and ready to sing and drum and that's what we do. I usually smudge for the group. But this is Peter's gig today so he smudges for his big deal, which is just a common courtesy. We're all very peaceful and courteous people. We don't bring our drums to uh, militant or opposition or anything. We're just mostly taking care of the water at our own. And just happy amongst ourselves. And the smudge just brings us all to a sudden people. And that's our celebration. Anine, Bojo, here we are Sharon and Dijinakaz. Welcome, everyone. Sharon is my name. St. Catharines in Donjaba. I'm originally from St. Catharines. Wabashin, Dash Ninda Megwa, but I live in Wabashin now. Gawin, Gawin in Yawasi and Dodem. I don't have a do clan. I'm not indigenous. But I'm opening today in the in Anishinaabe Moan and English. Um, because Anishinaabe Moan has been spoken on Turtle Island for since time immemorial. And the language needs to be heard again, and the earth is going to be happy hearing the language. And English as well, because that's the language that we all we all speak here. I'd like to um, acknowledge their very presence here on the land, and the stewardship that they have shown, the respect for the land um, since time immemorial. Uh, this garden is uh, a, a kind of a process to, uh, to acknowledge that, and to, uh, to bring people back to the earth a little bit, you know, where we, where we say, you know, get the gun, uh, you know, so the good garden to the, the, uh, foster um, learning from the earth is roughly the translation there. So I'd like to welcome today the Giwayden Hand Drumming Group, lots of us here today, and we're going to open up uh, with a song and Lorraine Lapoya is going to uh, introduce it. Ani Bojo Pinawea. Lorraine and Dishnikaz, Mongkwe Nipito, Vishnabe Kwe Ndao. I belong to Ken Inlet, and I am a native woman. And uh, I am very happy to be here and to see so many people out. Dejek Nagamawak, the first song we're going to sing is Dejek Nagamawak. Ishnabe people believe that everything is interconnected. The trees, the flowers, the bugs, the birds, we all need each other. We're all interconnected. And we all have to respect each other. So don't squish that little bug because he's in your path. We have to respect life. And we work to preserve life. So this song is a song of thanksgiving. Uh, we thank Creator. We thank Mishomas uh, the sun, Nokmas the moon, Jagamikwe, uh, Mother Earth, the Wesayog, the wild animals, the Mitko, the forests, and Nanagoka, the stars.
song, Gemini Doll, was written by Neil Nanag, a wonderful uh, man. He started off, uh, the first three verses came to him very quickly. He talked about the Creator, about the sun, and about the moon. And then he stopped for a long time. And he thought, oh, there must be more that I need to write about. More that is important. And he thought and he thought. And finally he thought, I must talk about the rest of creation. What Creator has given to us. The birds, the trees, the animals, um, the stars above us are the, is the last one that we sing about. And he, he just spent so much time. I know like it's only a few words in each verse that is different, but you think about what each one means to us as a people. How important it is that we have the sun, that we have the moon, and that they keep coming up, and that we have water, and we have, we have Mother Earth to thank. We have trees, we have mosquitoes, we have everything. And these things are so, so important. Miigwech for listening. Darlene, the dish Here we go. Don My name is Darlene. I live in Porvinnickel. My spirit name is White Hawk Woman. Today we give thanks for our many blessings. Today we give thanks to Creator for so much good fortune. We give thanks to the sky above and for the earth below. We give thanks to Mother Earth that we have been offered to be on so that we can see the heavens and we can be thanks, thankful for the rising of the sun and the moon. We give thanks to them. We have been offered the sun and the moon to guide us in our plantings. We give thanks for the beauty of our surroundings. We give thanks for all things beautiful in this place. We give thanks for our friends who have joined us on this special day. Uh, when, we, when we met with Jennifer, uh, she agreed to be our Indigenous advisor, and so she uh, has been advising us in some ways to go forward in a good way. And one of the things she suggested was planting the four sacred medicines of the Anishinaabeg in the directions that they hold on the medicine wheel. And so we're going to do that now. And so um, the first plant we're going to plant is tobacco. And we'll plant that in the east and uh, uh, Lisa and Lily are going to come and do that. One of these I started a while ago and the other one we received seeds from the Georgian Bay Native Friendship Center. So I got them later, they're a bit little. We're planting both of those to bring all that good energy here. Value of the spirits of both physical and emotional and the well-being oh. of our native people. We use these herbs to treat many illnesses and are important. Tobacco was the first plant that was given by the creator. It's used in sweat ceremony, sweat lodge ceremonies, as a, a form of um, protection. Now Bev is going to plant the sage for us in the western direction, and you notice that we always walk in a certain way.
the interconnectedness of all life and the importance of the protection of our water from pollution, drought, and waste. Water is the giver of all life. Nishnagalmawak, Nibiwabu. The second song we're going to sing is a water song. Water is the blood of Mother Earth. but I've been in Canada for 50 years now. Uh, it's a long time. Uh, and uh, I became uh, quite interested in the indigenous philosophy because of the drum. That was the whole reason why I got involved with the indigenous community, because of the drum. The drum is uh, uh, um, something that is common to all ancient cultures uh, in, in America, in Africa, in New Zealand, in Asia. Now, through the drum, I Drum circle. Then the drum circle got involved with protection of water. So that's where I ended up protecting the water uh, in our area. The song Nibirabo that we sang was originally uh, composed by uh, an elder in Manitoulin Island during a water walk on uh, a lake in Manitoulin Island. And uh, uh, it says uh, Nibi Babu, Nibi, Nibi is water, and we got to protect it. Uh, Aki Misqui means, you know, it's, uh, it's the rock, the red rock, the water, and we have to protect the red earth. So we have been protecting the water for a very long time. And we do our drumming, uh, protecting the water in our area from the aggregate industry uh, on Highway 27 French Road every Friday at 4 o'clock. So that's why uh, some of the people you see are wearing blue shirts protected. So we are water protectors. And uh, this is the song that we sing. Every time we have a drum circle, we start with a honor song for the water. So that's the Nibi Babu song. We never ever do a drum circle without honoring water. So that's why we sang this song today. What do those mean? This actually is a uh, 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 most uh, high, it's a, it's a deer hide vest that was made for me by uh, Marie Brunel. Uh, she's deceased now and her memorial service is right today. So it's, I'm honoring her wearing it. Her daughter was going to conduct the ceremony but she's not. Now, Marie Brunel uh, did the, the beading and this is called moose tufting. So she's the only person here, as far as I know, who does moose tufting. And now, now that she's passed on, I don't know who is going to do the moose tufting. So this is how she did it. You can see from the other side directly. And she did the beading too on this. And this is the classical uh, indigenous style of beading. Uh, these are little, I got it from Hopi. This is the Metis uh, um, warrior sign, the veteran sign. And uh, this is from Arizona, uh, and this is the four directions. That's what we planted this uh, plants in the four directions, north, south, east, west, and um, in the four colors. And again, she did the beading here. And these are the stones that I'm wearing around my neck. They came from Sri Lanka. Because we have uh, gem mines, and so this is this really came from the earth. And I brought this with me to Canada 50 years ago. And even the rubies were dug out from the gem mines in Sri Lanka. So they all came from the earth. So that's why I decided to wear it today.
probably make four holes mm -hmm. go in there somehow. Sometimes because, and we've lost it. I think that the world needs to get back into the community mind, and that's and the only way that we get that to happen is by starting in our own community, and from there it ripples out. So if you want to make any change, you start with what you can, and that's your own community and putting out that good energy and positive. Yeah. And that is 100% how I how I roll. So. <laughs> Well, that's what it's all about. <laughs> it is, it is. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm looking forward to with our garden is uh, being able to come in here with my kids. I have three little boys and uh, coming in to pick out all of the vegetables that we've been planting and taking care of. Uh, when we come down to the park, we'll, we'll be having fun uh, pulling out the weeds and taking care of all the plants that are here, maybe watering them as they need it, and just generally being uh, a part of the community and enjoying our garden together with everyone. Thank you. I'm so glad you could be part of this. This is Sharon. Who made this? Who made the book? Evelyn's husband. So I want to thank um, Darlene for stepping into the breach and Lorraine for uh, yeah. <laughs> and Lorraine for um, introducing the songs to us. I want to thank all the people who planted the sacred medicines. Your energy is going to be here forever. Um, and uh, the people that planted the three sisters. I want to thank Tall Pines Property Owners Association for um, helping us to get the grant for going to the township and doing all that stuff. And um, and I want to thank um, uh, Bev for uh, bringing the idea from a kernel that Peter had to Tall Pines. And then I want to thank the township for giving us a grant to build the get the building materials as well. Uh, I want to thank the library. Jessica Beal helped us with the pamphlet. And we have seeds from the seed library. The two hanging baskets there have uh, from those seeds. I want to thank Peter for his beautiful design and uh, for uh, being out here building this. He didn't know I was going to do that. I snuck that one by him. 
I want to thank Bev also for the for the refreshments that she's providing. I want to thank Ronald for the beautiful video taping he does, and he makes beautiful videos that we can share this moment with everybody, and for planting the potatoes. Uh, I want to thank Dave Whitten for uh, donating the triple mix to the garden, and Kyle Kruger from Foodland in Victoria Harbor for the hanging flower baskets here. He gave us a hose, and he gave us a case of water for today, too. I want to thank our musicians, Nick Howell, from just on Albany Street, yeah, check it out. NickHowlRocks.com, check it out, he's fabulous. And I want to thank Ray, too, for providing music. And I want to thank Maggie and Gord and Melissa for um, getting out here and digging post holes. When we dig, we had to dig eight post holes, and we knew it was deep enough when Maggie and Gord's son, Finn, got inside one. And it went up to his neck. So every post hole is one Finn deep. It's not a measurement. And I want to thank Finn and William for uh, watering here and planting and uh, for moving the soil when it came and helping out. I want to thank everyone who grew and donated plants to this effort, uh, everybody who planted today, everyone who told somebody about this event, everybody who will tell somebody about this event, uh, everybody, all of you who came out to be part of this celebration, and everyone in the future who will come and be a part of this garden as we grow community. And at the back of the bulletin board, there's a, a, a painting on aluminum. It's a reproduction of Paul Schilling's painting, and it's called Time to Wake Up. We're going to do our closing song, Lorraine, and then it'll be refreshments. We're going to do Strong Woman's Song, um, because as you see, women are very, very essential in life itself. They give life, they keep life going, so Strong Woman, here we are. We're packing up now. It's been a beautiful day here, and uh, everybody brought their gifts. There was music, there was indigenous knowledge, there was uh, children watering the plants, and uh, all the plants are in. A few more will go in. Some are in seed form, and they'll come later. And so we're going to keep coming and watering the plants, and we'll be weeding and mulching. We're going to put in some signs that uh, say the names of the plants, and we'll do them in English and Anishinaabe Moan, and potatoes will be in Luganda and um, yeah now we just have to take care of the plants in the ground and watch them grow and uh, celebrate the great day we had when everybody came together here today to plant the garden and so this garden was is being built by the community for the community the food is going to be shared and uh, look out for part three of uh, this journey that our community is taking together and for the word of the day today, we're going to do potato because actually one of the things we planted in here was potatoes and potatoes in my language we say Bu Monde. Again, that is Bu Monde. I hope you really enjoyed what has gone on, people have enjoyed themselves and uh, as I said before, if you have questions, how you can build something like this in your community, please do leave the questions right below in the comment section. We can give you a hint. Basically in a nutshell, that is it. That's how it went. We've enjoyed ourselves. As I said, leave comments right, right below and ask us questions how this is done because we did get money from the township but that money does not build everything honestly. You do need people to get together. In this case, the community at large. All right, thank you guys. I hope to see you in the third part of this community building and uh, hey check out other videos that I have here I have also DIYs I have cooking videos 
So check those out and I hope to see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye now.